I see a boy. Are you a boy, child? I see a lady here with his boyfriend. The boyfriend is dating the best, the best. And they are making plans to get married. And they'll get married to the best friend. Your boy's name has E inside. It has R inside. It has R inside. So if your boyfriend doesn't have those names, don't worry yourself. You know, when I say somebody has E inside, it has R inside. It has R. So you are talking about Derek. You are talking about... Uh, sit down, sit down, sit down before they start looking at you. Eh? Sit down. Uh, somebody mentioned what? Eric. No, I said double R, so I'm, 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 uh, there is no Eric. Eric are very good boys. Okay? So, this it. <laughs> uh, oh, boyfriend, who's oh, your boyfriend? Oh, 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 show no. Uh, man, snap! Man. <laughs> you are fun with that. Your friend. I mean your best friend, your closest friend, is dating your boyfriend. They are bust, they are bust stars. They are going to get married in the month of November. So all those things you are doing, you are just donating yourself, madam. If I were you, I would listen to this prophet and go to my boyfriend's place at 3 p.m. Okay, you will not meet the girl there. You will not meet your friend there. But you meet something about your friend there. You meet the dress you bought for your friend on her birthday, on the bed. A word to the wise. Okay. Lift up your hands in the building. God has a word for a group of people. He raises a prophet. A prophet. My brother. The way God's hand is on your life, eh? you can't be a stammerer at the same time. Okay? There is a call of God on your life. And the Lord is going to lose your tongue. I am not saying something to encourage you. I'm telling you what is about to happen. Okay? I, I don't encourage people. I speak the mind of God. When I tell you God's mind, it's settled. Somebody say it's settled. Look at somebody and tell the person it's settled. Look at the person one more time and say it is settled. Eric, ask him, has anybody told him he has the call of God before? has a strong hand on his life. It is done. Sir. Ma, you know, who, who, who is Esther? Your auntie. Oh, okay. Where is she? She's here. Okay, for how long? Last year, April. From where? From London. And she came to Ghana last year, April. The Lord is going to preserve her. The Lord is going to preserve her. The Lord is going to keep her. You see, the devil has a footstool, a foothold in her life because of something in her heart that happened several years ago that she's not willing to let go I, I will not mention the thing the thing has to do with the husband the husband the thing is in the heart and it is preventing her 
it has made the devil have a full stool. Also, I like a in Calabria and a Becker, Becker Nagby, seven years old girl and Nagby. You know, the seven years old girl has appeared in church as I talk to you now, drenched in blood. Yeah. See, I have gone to 1940 something. That, that is how far prophets can go. But you see, the church has no hand in what happened. So even if the captivity is lawful, a costless case will not stand. So I demand the immediate release of your husband. Give me fresh oil. Fresh oil. Father, Mom, as I pray over this oil, give it to your husband. You have asked him to come. Okay, so he should come. So that I'll give him the instruction myself. But let me pray over the oil so that when that grace leaves me, I can just talk to him. I declare that this oil will lose its naturalness. What we are going to do is that we are going to bury the oil in the land. Is that? Everybody lift up your hands and wave it to Jesus. Ah, I'm seeing somebody here. Ah, who has a sister by name Margaret or something? Ma, you have a sister by name Margaret or yeah. You have a sister. It's like I'm, I'm hearing somebody call Margaret. And it's like I'm seeing the person around Big Ada or something. And, oh, okay. The person I'm talking about here, the person I'm talking here, you are born July 30th. It's like you are wearing spectacles. You are wearing spectacles. Is he a bodybuilder or is Eric, come and stand here. metal see the, the way you have built your body I mean the, the spirit has left me because I'm intimidated So let me pray for you. I don't want to go there, okay? I don't want to say things like, and it will look like I'm disgracing you. <laughs> the Lord says, I should tell you, He's about to restore. Okay? When we are in the, sometime, I'm going to say something, but I'm going to say it in parables. When we are in a, a particular level of glory, we make mistakes. And when we make mistakes and we fall, and the things we used to have leaves our hands. Sometimes we think that God is paying us. But sometimes these things happen for us to learn from them. But God can restore us back to that position. 
the Lord is taking you back. Okay? When I asked you about North Kaneshi, you made a comment. But there was a reason why I, I asked you about North Kaneshi. I asked you about North Kaneshi because there was something about North Kaneshi that has affected where you are now. It's part of the contributing factors of where you are. Let me speak in parables again. There is somebody that can meet a woman or date a woman in North Kaneshi. And that dating the woman in North Kaneshi has brought the person to a, a certain level of... <laughs> uh, how do you call it? It's, it's just an example I'm giving. So, so as I'm giving the example, he that the calf feeds. <laughs> Sir, the Lord says, I should tell you, it's your season of recovery. The Lord is about to elevate you to that lost position. Osobo. Osobo. I hear in the spirit I hear in the spirit. You know, I have preached in Legon Baptist before, also several times. I'm in Legon Baptist Church now. It looks like they are having a funeral. Let's pray for Reverend Otu Pimpo. Don't take my prophecies for granted. Let's pray for Reverend Otu Pimpo. How many of you know Reverend Otu Pimpo? Now, if you know Reverend Otu Pimpo, stand on your feet. We want to pray for him right now. And this is the prayer. Every death sentence is cancelled. The Lord should keep him and preserve him. Lift up your voice and pray. when I was talking about the, oil, the call of God. Lift up your hands. Let me pray for you. Somebody pray for Reverend Otu Pimpo. Cancelled. Please have a seat. Sir, I'm coming to give you an instruction. Okay? If you don't follow the instruction, it is your business. You follow the instruction. Listen, go and pray about your life. Ask God what he wants to, you to do. There is a call of God on your life. Okay? Okay? And from today onwards, eh, any decision you take, come and talk to me first. Okay? Walk up to me. Even when my protocol says I'm busy, tell them that I gave you a prophecy on this day. Okay? You have a problem. The problem is that you believe everything people say. Okay? In this world of fraud, you don't need to believe people what people say. You see, as you stand here, if I ask you to give me $1,000, you'll tell me you don't have money. But you don't have the money because you were fraud. They, 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 they fraud you. They robbed you. Somebody scammed you. When you finished doing the payment, the person now began to say that 
<laughs> it is not his number and all that. The person fraud you because you believe what the person said. You have the call of God on your life. Go and pray and come and see me after one week. Is that okay? God bless you. Sit down. I think I, I can close the service now, right? I can close the service now. Come. Ah. <laughs> ah, Parliament Chapel. Is it a church or is it's Parliament? It's a church. <laughs> is it Parliament or church? It's a church. Oh, okay, okay. Parliament Chapel. You know Parliament Chapel. Where, where is that? That's why you fellowship. That's your church. Go and look for Coca-Cola and come. This guy is going to be on all the radio stations in Ghana. He's going to be singing eh? he'll be singing like what they call life worship he'll be singing he'll be singing and when he finishes eh, the lord will send him to a place in the volta region i'm seeing a k a m e a k a m e the lord is going to send him there to work for him. I think you have been coming here to play the uh, bass guitar for me. Okay. But I see you on all the radio stations in this country. And you are not playing bass guitar. But you are doing life worship. Do you sing? You sing. You know how to sing. Very well. And you come and play bass guitar and you don't sing. Okay. The Lord is going to take you around. See that? Eh? It has happened. As you drink this Coca-Cola, that is the same way your voice will resound. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Is that you'll be all over the place. Come. Can you can you bodyguard me? If you bodyguard me, it will be very interesting. Yeah, if you bodyguard me, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. <laughs> also one day. <laughs> I travel outside. Me, I'm a very honest preacher. I don't tell lies. I'm very frank. I tell people what I go through and all that. I went outside to a place to go and preach. And me, myself, I went to look for trouble to say that I'm going for a walk. So that morning, the pastor called me. I don't know what happened. The pastor just called me and said, uh, Brother Eric, where are you? I said, I'm going for a walk. He said, where? And I, I said, oh, I'm, I'm seeing some signboard. And I mentioned the neighborhood. He said, Prophet Eric, run. <laughs> he said, run as fast as you can. I'm talking about Golden Tulip in Kumasi. And I walked to some. He said, it's a dangerous one. He said, Prophet Eric, run. Come and see me. I, I, look, I never said that I'm a prophet. I'm anointed. When he said, whilst he was saying run, I was running on the phone. 
When I go to the gate of the golden tulip, when the guy saw me, me myself, I was that was the last time I've ever gone and a walk a golden tulip. Me. There was one time I traveled outside the country. I was in a particular uh, shop to buy shares and things like that. And there was a guy who was looking at me. Not knowing the guy has a man mental problem. When I move to this side, the guy moves to this side. Moves to this side. Guy, nobody told me to. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I just told the guy that. I, the guy, the driver that took me to town. I just told him, I look, listen, I, I, I feel like I don't have the energy for this right now. So we should move out of this place. And, and, I, and I left the place. And that is how I've been alive. Me, I'm not a fool. Though. I've never been a fool. And I'll never be a fool. I remember one day, I went to get to my gate. I blew the horn. Uh, my boy was not coming. And I came down to open my gate. And I saw some people coming. And the way those guys were looking... I knew that if these guys catch me, they will break me into two. So there were three. Then I went back and looked for a stone. And I put my leg. <laughs> will you bodyguard me? <laughs> I'll put my leg on the stone. Even when the guy bypassed me, when they bypassed me, I turned. <laughs> to be sure they will not come from my back. I waited till they disappeared before I lifted my leg off the shoulder. I'm not, the Bible said I'd be as wise. I, I don't know why I see you in a hotel in the spirit. <laughs> what, what did they do at hotels? I want positive things. Hmm? I need to pray for Yehovah why sisters that are Margaret. I think when I was calling the person, I said the person has a sister by name Margaret. You have two sisters that are called Margaret. You have two sisters that are called Margaret. Okay. The, the person I'm talking about, eh, you are born in July. Okay. The person is born in April. I'm seeing something like 12, between 12 and 13 years old girl. The Lord says I should pray for that Margaret. Young lady, come. You, come. You have a boyfriend? I was just praying that you should lie. Do you love him? Does he love you? And look for a bottle of water for me. Did you celebrate your birthday some few days ago? You celebrated your birthday. Come. Go and look for water for me.
When you get water, eh, look for cloth. Eh? Look for cloth. Use it to tie yourself. I'm going to do something that doesn't make sense, but that's what I'm hearing that you should do. Open the water for me. Look for cloth to tie yourself. Tie yourself from your neck downwards. Open the water for me. Hurry up. I want a very... So if you can use two cloths, okay? Use two cloths on her for me. Very fast. And bring her here for me. What I hear is what I do. Where's your girlfriend? Where's your girlfriend? She's gone. Do you love her? On a scale of one to ten. Nine. Hey. Nine. And love like that. You are just like me. Oh. Now, what I'm coming to do eh, is for your own. Okay? So I'm coming to mess you up. What I hear is what I'm doing. Okay? That's your breakthrough. What is what is three five? What is that? What's three five? Thirty five. That's three five. How old are you? You are thirty five. Can I can I meet you and your girlfriend? There is something I want to tell the two of you to pray about. Okay. I want to pray. I want to. Also, come, come, come. I want to. I want to see something. That girl has she ever given you money before? She gives you money. Okay, so when I meet her, I will tell her to be giving you money, not because you are exploiting her. You are not. You are not only going out with her, but you are covering over her. Let me demonstrate something for you. When the two of you are walking, and this is how you walk. Let me show you how you walk. Okay? So, if this is the street, boss, don't be stiff like that. When you see here, you are not stiff. If this is the street, you are on the left. She's on the right. So, you hold my hands. That's the way you walk. So, you are walking on the street. You hold like that with hands. And it looks like you love her and you are in love with her. So you are trying to be like, you, people have this perception that pastors are not romantic. So you are not just trying to be romantic, but what you are doing is symbolic. You have a covering over her. And when I meet her, one of the things I will tell her is that she should be financially benevolent towards you. Hey, hello. How was your honeymoon? My son, he's married though. Married to a very beautiful lady. Very, very, very beautiful. Blessed lady. The wedding was very powerful. I was there. Very powerful wedding. You came back from the honeymoon. You know, he's a virgin that went into honeymoon and came back the virgin. <laughs> hey! Yourself. 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 Sir, so when I see her, I'll talk to her that she should bless you. Not because you need it, but you are covering over her life. Okay? But let me tell you something. Eh? That girl is a blessing. But it's a blessing that is wrapped in spiritual warfare. That's all I'll say for now. When I meet the two of you, we'll talk.
Yeah, you are a covering for her. And then uh, there is something I want to tell you. There is something I want to tell you. How many of you know that when you listen to me preach very well, apart from the prophetic dimension of my ministry, there is a Reverend Eastwood part of my ministry. There is a Reverend Eastwood part of my ministry. This is what I want you to do. Go and pick Reverend Eastwood's picture. Eh? Pray about Reverend Eastwood for one week. After that, come and see me. Okay? There is an impartation of Reverend Eastwood that I carry. You see, there was one time you went to Reverend Eastwood. You went to Borga. You went to Borga, went to church to put a seat there. Reverend Eastwood's church. Okay? The spirit you were looking for from Reverend Eastwood. There are people that are working that are carrying it. So go and pray about Reverend Eastwood for one week. Come, I'll pray for you. And God will miraculously connect you with Reverend Eastwood. And your ministry will experience that dimension of the miraculous. If you are clapping, clap. Young man, come. Let the young man come. Right now, stand. Who shall come? First. I didn't need first. You used to shen come. You see, I won't shen come you. I'm sorry, 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 I'm Are you on the way? See you. Yeah. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. Maybe what I'm saying you are not hearing. Okay? A prophet, you, listen to me. I'm not that kind of prophet when I ask a question. Anything you see, I take it. Because anytime I ask you a question, I am seeing beyond. There is something I'm seeing, that's why I ask you a question. You understand? So, you don't say anything and I'll hear. That is my prophetic ministry. You understand? Now, let me tell you why I'm asking you the question I'm asking you. You are under a man that looks like a brother. Eh? That is a brother. You are under him and he's manning the church. Then you people open another branch. Eh? You open another branch. It's like I'm on the N1 towards a dental area in the realm of the spirit. Then you open another. Uh, oh, Yarefa is on Adenta. Yeah, so I say Adenta area. Okay? I know, I know what I'm saying, so don't worry. Okay? My name is Prophet Eric. Okay? I, 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 I am an Ewe who is a prophet. We don't play games with the prophetic ministry. Uh, when you go to Konongo, they can play games there. But we, when we are called, we are called. Uh, you know, the uh, comic relief in the prophetic ministry is the road to Konongo. They, they have made a mockery of the prophetic ministry. But we we from the Volta region. That's why the credible prophets in this country, some of them are from the Volta region. You are, you are, you are not happy. Uh, it's your business. You are not happy. There are certain people, and when they are into ministry, it's, it's different. It's different. Madam, so... The person has now moved to the church here and you are the one in charge of the church here. Is that not a family thing? <laughs> Madam, you know why I asked you Ushen Koma now? Who person Ushen come to see me? Who person Ushen come? Nyanku bomba be biye weni. Who person come rough? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. 
Mami can be being sure. Why? Eh? Mami can be being. Ma 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 glunya no was here. You were sharp prophetically. But that thing was taken away because of somebody. Okay? It was taken away because of somebody. Madam, take me as your brother. Who is higher than you prophetically? Any man that comes into your life. Anybody that comes around you, come and ask me first. Your gift was taken away because you got connected to the wrong altar. And that altar. <laughs> but today, I said it was a season of recovery. Your sight has been recovered. Amen. And I stand in my office, just like Peter said, such as I have, I give I unto you. From today, you will not struggle. 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 You will not struggle, will not struggle to enter the prophetic office. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God a man. Can, can, I, can I talk to you briefly after service, okay, briefly? And remind me, I want to talk about MPP. I want to talk about MPP, okay? So just say, uh, Eric, MPP. I want to talk about MPP. You know why I want to talk about MPP? Why? Because of your mother. Okay? Your mother has a good heart. And God loves your mother. So there is no amount of conspiracy that will affect your mother. I'll talk to you after church. Okay? God bless you. I think I prophesied a lot today. Your miracle has happened. 25, 35. I've seen full stop. You have entered your season of miracles. <laughs> Aho. Tifu Wanani Dasu Onu Oh yeah Missy Ahu Tifu Wanani Dasu Onu Oh yeah, Missy Yeho, why yeah, Kong Kong, you are hey, Ahu. On a knee, sir. Uh, uh, I'm seeing something like yellow. Okay, I see something like yellow. Yellow, all of a sudden, I saw the yellow turn to black. And when I, uh, who is here? Who is here? Your, your husband. You're a woman, but your husband is called Alote. Alote or something. Alote or something. If you are here like that, walk up to me. Ahu Tifu Alo, alo. What, what is A L L O T E Y or something. What was that? What's that? Alote I see yellow. Eh? You are written alote, but it turned to black. Why are they clapping? What color is that? Let me show you. Come on. Tifu 
Onani Tasu Onu Noye Missy Ahu Be a black pen, anything black. Okay. I need something black. Ushers, look for something black for me before I black you. No, I want everything now, everything black, not the writing at the pen. I want but if phone case. Okay, phone case. No, Charlie, this one, your hey, Charlie. Your iPhone here, you get white or inside, so I won't be on black. Hey, Charlie, this is your iPhone here. You be sophisticated, though. That be the bag. Then there should be nothing white about it. I want black. I want pure black. This black. Black. Okay. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God. Or oh, I should pray for you, madam. I'm going to give you this. Eh? Okay. This is what you are going to do. Throw it away. Reject it. That you don't want it. That is, that is it. So you are going to throw it away. Reject it. Don't reject it gently. Reject it with every anger and every passion inside you. And then the ushers will pick it up for me. That is your miracle. So I pray for Margaret. I see you in a hotel in the spirit. Today I said I was going to give the microphone to my sons to prophesy. But I've ended up taking all the time. Okay. your question. How many of you remember that the power challenges we are experiencing now, I said it here one time. I said that power crisis is coming. How many of you remember? We came to church and we were praying for this country. And I said I saw power crisis coming. This year is one of the most terrible raining seasons. I say what? <laughs> this is the year eh, where rain will be falling and people are in the building and buildings will be collapsing. In one of my visions, eh, I saw water dripping. Okay? And I asked the angel, he said it's rainfall. And I asked him, how long has the rain been falling? He said for eight hours. And the intensity of the rain is consistent. So you see, one of the prayers I've been praying to God concerning this season is that God should prevent rain this season. 
Because, listen, I'm telling you again, write it down. God should prevent rain this season. Otherwise, I don't know the house you stay in. Oh. <laughs> but if that house has been there for 30 years, it's risky. I saw it in a vision. Do you know Adam? How do you know Adam? Huh? Come from there. You come from there. Adam. Adam. That thing I see over Margaret is cancer. Is deleted. I saw Kate. I saw Kate, your sister. I saw Kate crying over Margaret. But it's cancelled. Stopped. God bless you. I wish I can be like you. Although I've tried. I remember when I was at national service. Eh? My brother, when you look at me, eh, I was too st- slim. Me no more dry. What we are seeing now? To grow fat. I never grew fat. So such as I am, without one plead. My sister, do you love your boyfriend? Does he love you? Okay, let me give you an assignment. Go to your boyfriend and ask him that Prophet Eric said you should ask him whether he loves you. Then you come back and come and tell me. Okay, and then you tell him that Prophet Eric said that if there is something about he needs to tell you, he should tell you, then you come. There is something he needs to tell you. So go and ask him. Next week you come and ask me. Huh? 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 Anything he says, you even if he insults me, you come and tell. That's what I like. If he insults me, you come and tell me. Write this number down: one nine seven. I'm giving you a number of a last digit: one nine seven zero five five. I'll leave the rest: one nine seven. Can I close now? How many of you were blessed today? If you are believing God for a child, come. If you are believing God for a child, come. I see that, say no. One for man, no. Osa ye ye Ejo nyamia Ah who has dated who has dated a guy a guy it's a guy you have dated before and he was working in SNIT or something. Who is here like that? It's a guy you were dating before. I want to, I want to tell you something. Osasido Ejo Nyamia Aye ye seno Osa sido Messi asida seno
Lift up your hands and let me pray. Father, uh, you want a baby? You want a baby? You don't want a baby. What do you want? Is it? Marriage first. There's need staff. That's why you came. Go and sit on my chair. I'm coming. Lift up your hands. I want to pray with you. Listen, listen, lift, lift up your hands. There is no day that God has not confirmed his word. Anytime he pulls it in my spirit to pray for people that are looking for the fruit of the womb. As these hands are lifted, I pray that within 10 months, you will come back here and testify. I command your wombs to be open to receive seed. In Jesus' name. It's done. You can go and sit down. Give God a clap offering. Semi kutu kutu na minda wasi. seeing somebody now the snit person was your ex it was somebody you saw before you are seeing who you are seeing now and just like the person walked out of your life with a very flimsy excuse and you began calling the person I see this other person also walk out of your life the same fashion he wakes up all of a sudden and say, I will not do again. You start calling. You start calling. You start calling. The relationship ends. You enter into another one. You start calling. You start calling. The relationship ends. But today, the one you are in, do you, do you want it to be the final one? Madam, you want to be the final one? <laughs> Do you know good, better, best? Do you know that? Madam, you know good, better, best. When there is good, there is better, there is best. Which one will you choose? No, I'm not asking you. I'm asking you. Best. Okay, go and pray about him, okay? Pray about him and come back and come and see me. Okay? If you want to marry him, he's good. Okay? He's good. <laughs> what, what do you have against Ewes? <laughs> what, what do you have? Come, come. What do you have against Ewes? You don't like Ewes? You don't like Ewes. You don't like Ewes. <laughs> Adam. Oh, small Ewes. So, Ewes, what have we done to you before? <laughs> now, wh what have we done to you people? Madam. Madam. Madam, come. Come. You want to marry... If you want to marry, pray that this man will stay. 
If this man doesn't stay, the man that is the best that will marry you is an elder. Hundred percent. As a matter of fact, I prophesy that you marry an elder. You know what? <laughs> Do you know elder men? You will not get them all. This guy knows how to wash. He knows how to cook. He's a clean guy. This is a guy you wake up with him from the bed. He will lay the bed. This is the guy when you go to work at the hospital. By the time you come, he will cook for you. You don't like. You don't like. Because I bet you remember what you want to find once more. God gives me the opportunity to come back, Apostle Dodd. I will never change my tribe. I'm, I'm a proud airway boy. I am a proud airway boy. A proud Anglo airway boy. Yeah. And when, if you like my ministry, it tells you what airways are. Okay. Pray that this boy will stay. Stay. Lassie. <laughs> See, eh? Also, in little, I bet you may feel. But if it is Banku you are scared of, he knows how to prepare it himself. I'm talking about a guy. Eh? I'm talking about a guy who is correct. I'm talking about a guy who is driving Toyota Highlander, registered 2018. I'm talking about a guy who is living in, in a three bedroom house and is building a house. I see him building a house at a place. It's like I'm seeing. Apollonia. I'm talking about a guy whose salary at the end of the month is 9,452. You see that when I said a word. They didn't shout. When I mentioned money, the women start shouting. So the money can compensate for the airway. But I'm going to pray about it and come back to me for one week, okay? How many of you are blessed you came to church today? If you are blessed. If you are blessed, give God a mighty clap offering. <laughs> Madam, where, where is your family? Where's your family? Where's your family? They are here. Is anybody here that is connected to you? Huh? Madam, next week when you are coming to service, bring somebody that is close to you. It can either be there is a problem. Eh? Hmm? Can I talk to you? Even what I'm saying, you don't understand. Okay? There is a problem and it has to do with your mindset. I see you naked on the streets. I see you walking on the streets naked. Okay, so... Next week when you are coming to church, can I have one elderly person? Uh, uh, I don't know. Communicate to her that next week if you look for somebody very close to her, bring the person to church. I want to tell the person something to do, okay, when she's sleeping at 1 a.m. I want the person to observe. The person will stand with her when she's sleeping and the person will set an alarm 
when it is 12.45 a.m., the person will wake up and observe something. And when the person observes the thing, I will tell something will happen. Okay? Something. And I want somebody here. So that he will do the thing. And when he, he does the thing, a physical cat 